Thank you very much, Larry. I accept your kind words on behalf of all of the House Democrats whose courage and uh, determination made the passage of this legislation possible. Uh, personally, I'm so honored to be here at the Joe Mazzola Training Center. I knew your grandfather. He was one of the first people who endorsed me when I ran for Congress 34 years ago. <laughs> Uh, leading the building trades uh, to, uh, in, in my support. So I, I, every time I come here, I think of, and I've worked with your father, Larry Mazzola, uh, for many years, and thank him for his leadership. And now to see you, Larry Mazzola Jr., and Steve Mazzola here, carrying on that tradition of, for working families in our country. Thank you for your leadership of this union, but also uh, for what you do for families. And that's what it's all about. I'm pleased to be here also with Rudy Gonzalez, the Secretary Treasurer of San Francisco Building Trades. Rudy, uh, Rudy Gonzalez. And again, we have a very special guest here today, Megan Pryor, and I'll introduce her later, but she's an ap apprenticeship coordinator of the Operating Engineers Local 3. Megan, thank you. She's our real VIP today, but I'm sure my colleagues will agree. Uh, but I'm very honored that we have so many of the people who made this legislation possible here with us today. Congresswoman Anna Eshoo from San Mateo, well, more than San Mateo County. Congresswoman Jackie Spear, whom I have the honor of representing San Francisco with. Congresswoman Barbara Lee, right from across the bridge. And Congressman Mark DeSonye, who is on the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. <laughs> so he was really very much there in the shaping of all of this. This is about good paying jobs for America's working families. It's about clean air, clean water for our children. It's about quality of life improvement for families so they don't have to spend so much time on the road because of the investments in mass transit, the investments in, in, in uh, roads and bridges to make them safer and to facilitate, tra facilitate transportation, for moving people from home to work to school, for moving product to market in a much more efficient way, especially in our agricultural community, which is so important in California. The list goes on and on. And it really has some good things about uh, saving the planet. We do much more in our uh, next, the, the bill we just passed the other day in the reconciliation. But this is a running start on not only our hopes riding on what's in the bill and mass, and, um, mass transit and the rest, but also the running start it is to protect the planet. Uh, it's a, a tribute to President Biden. It was his vision. He came in with this big vision, and he accomplished this much, over a trillion dollars, working in a bipartisan fashion. But he did say, I will not confine uh, my vision for America to this one bill, and hence we have the legislation that he signed last week, last Monday, but also the reconciliation bill, the Build Back Better now, what's exciting about that, and I'll make this point before I yield to Congresswoman Eshoo, and that is that in that legislation, we build back better because it's about equity. Both of these bills are about fairness and equity and justice in how we build our infrastructure in our country. No longer will we be separating neighborhoods, but unifying them. No longer will women and people of color be cut out of what happens next because this le the legislation facilitates all of that. So it's building back better because it's building back in a more unifying way, a more just way, and again, honoring the vision of President Biden. He deserves so much credit for both of these legislations, on top of uh, the, uh, uh, the rescue package that we passed earlier in the year. All of it about good paying jobs, good paying union jobs. Yeah. <laughs> All about lowering costs for the consumer, all about increasing, as again, paychecks, all about lowering taxes for the middle class, and all of it paid for by making everyone pay his or her fair share. 
So it's pretty exciting. This is our first, we're back. We've tasked everyone to go out and tell everyone what is in this legislation. It's not just about what I talked about. It's about the safety of our bridges. It's about an investment in our airports. The list goes on and on. We can talk more about as we proceed with this. But again, I'm very honored to be here with my colleagues because the courage of the House Democrats really made this possible. The Senate did their work, but we had to sell it in the House as we were selling the other bill. None of this would be possible without that, that unity. And central to all of that, on one of the committees of jurisdiction for all of this, on the Energy and Commerce Committee, Congresswoman Anna Eschew. 